I used to go down with my mom and pack oysters right off the table with her. When I was a kid, they put a little stool up there and I'd get my own little set of gloves and I'd get to sort and pack oysters. And to me, it was like the most fun thing to do ever. <laughs> Lots of small generational businesses that have um, lived off of the oyster industry here in Wolpa Bay for generations and generations. So it's really deep in the history and in the type of people that live here. We're oyster from clam farmers and that's about it. That's all we do here. That's the environment that, that we have. Something happened in 2008 that we didn't quite understand and that was hatcheries that normally would start in the spring, uh, notice the larvae dying in their tanks. Huge mortalities. And we weren't, we weren't getting the seed we needed. Everyone was concerned as to, as to what was going on. And what the oceanographers had told us, so this was actually one of the effects of, of global warming. Um, you're seeing a pH shift in the ocean. It's more evident off of our coast because of the upwelling that occurs during the summer months when the northwest wind blows. Uh, without oyster seed, the farm would slowly die. It's a three year to market product. We could survive for a few more years, but not having that oyster seed would be just prolonging death of the business, more or less, death of our farm. And my father, at that point, decided that there had been some studies that were going on and that this was going to be something that was going to keep on occurring. So we started a hatchery over in Hilo, Hawaii. It was a big gamble in starting a hatchery and branching out and going to a different locale, but I just felt that's what, that's what made the most sense for me to do. The difference between us and like general society is that we see the impact that it has. We're probably um, the first one that is raising our hand saying, it's here, it's real, we see this. So for us, we have to be very proactive and we have to watch it and we have to monitor it to make sure that our business doesn't get put in a predicament in the future where we won't be able to have a healthy farm.